Hello guys. Welcome to a new video of the build. Y'all, I've got a new outfit. Let me see if I can, I don't have my tripod with me. Let me see if I can prop this up. Oh, I need something to prop this up. Here we go. This should work. Let me show you guys the new fit. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I ruined so many clothes in the bus build and I refused to do that this time. So I got this cute little outfit, um, you know, and we're going to build some stuff today. So let's talk about what we're doing this week or this video. Um, the plan is to install the bunk windows. I've been putting it off because it's kind of a big project because I officially have to figure out where my bed's going to be because I want them to be centered in my bed. So I need to figure out where my bed is gonna be. I need to remove the support beam, then I need to chop out the holes, then actually install the windows. So there's a lot to be done, and I've just been kind of putting it off, but I got off at work early today. It's 1.30, it's Friday, and I have a solid five hours before I'm gonna be over it today to get this done. So let's start by mapping out where the heck the bed is going to be. Okay, let's do it. So first things first would be to look up the dimensions of a full-size bed. <laughs> so full-size beds measure 54 inches wide, 75 inches long. Okay. 54 inches wide. That's the important note. The other thing is a ProMaster has this awkward slant part here, which is about six inches and that's a lot of space. <laughs> so I need to decide how far I want my bed to go back. If I push it all the way back, I have to cut the corners of my mattress which is fine, no one's sleeping on the very six inches edge anyways, maybe Honcho, but not me. Um, so I've gotta figure that out. And also, I wanna be able to open the doors. So the thing is, I can't have the bed pushed all the way against here because then I won't be able to get my hand down to open the door from the inside. Not that I necessarily need to do that, but it's almost kinda of like a safety thing. What if there happened to be a fire and I can't get out from the front? Um, and so I would like to have a second option to get out of the back. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to maybe do the bed about half of the distance of that space. Um, and then, or not at all. I have a couple ideas y'all. <laughs> it's so hard to come up with stuff, but I have some ideas. I just don't know how it's going to work out. Okay, now I need to figure out where the middle of the bed is. So bed's 54 inches, so 27 would be exactly center. All right, now that I figured out where the middle line is, um, I'm gonna work on taking off the support beam. So honestly, it's welded at the top in four points, two at the top, two at the bottom. I can't get the angle grinder on the top ones, so I can cut off the bottom ones. I'm gonna shimmy a crowbar behind where the glue is, and then once I get this part off, I can pull it off a little bit where I can use uh, metal cutters to just cut these tiny little pieces. So that's what we're gonna do now.
complaint about Van Windows Direct is it doesn't come with instructions or like a template to cut out. You have to make your own. You have to look on their website for their instructions. The bunk window instructions are a little bit more clear than the uh, siding slide door instructions, uh, partly because they drew a circle around where the frame should be. Um, so they recommended to trace the full size of the window, cut out that template, and then cut it down um, because it's earthened on, so there's really no like clamp around the hole or anything like that. Um, so they recommend cutting it down and just making sure the trim on the top is inside the hole and the triangle drainage is also inside the hole. So now that I've cut the whole shape of the window, I can trim it down to the rectangle size that I like. I guess. I don't know how important it is that this needs to be straight. I should maybe go look at some pictures first. <sighs> oh Lord. Lord help us. Okay, so now I got my template. I hope. <laughs> I hope I have it right. I marked where the middle line is so I can line it up with where the middle of the bed is that I already marked on the wall. And now I'm just going to trace it out. Honestly, I'm going to install this the same way that I installed or cut the hole for the other window. I'm going to drill pilot holes all around the edges, so then I just need to connect the dots on the outside. Um, I know this is the outside rib. I want the window to sit about three inches below the outside rib, so that means I have to put the template about four inches below because there's an extra inch, inch and a half gap on the outside. So we're going to start by trying to tape this up exactly where we want it, making sure it's straight. That's the key is making sure the top is perfectly straight because if it's not, if it's on a slant, if I cut the hole, it's going to sit in the hole on a slant and I really don't want that. some earthane primer on y'all I waited till last minute to reorder since I'm redoing the windows the primer that I used last time was dried out that primer cost nine dollars on Amazon for just amount that I would need but it won't get here for a week and a half so my only option I ordered a $67 bottle from O'Reilly's and it got here today one day it's the only thing that would get here in time Everything else was like a week and a half, two weeks out. So, I'm biting the cost on this a little bit, but I'm getting my windows done, so that's the positive. So these bunk windows don't have a lot of space between the hole and the showing metal, so I'm making sure not to go too far outside the hole, but enough to where the glue is going to be touching.
All right, guys, got the glue on, primed, ready for the window. Um, Destiny and Liz are here still, so I'm gonna ask them to help me so that way we can make sure we put it on perfectly straight. Okay. Yep, got it. On your left, raise it a little bit. I gotta slide it over a little too. Okay, huh? that's fine. Honestly, it looks pretty straight. Do you want me to do the measuring tape just to be safe? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, right here. It's pretty stuffed too already, so. Is it? Yeah, the glue looks kind of This is flushed uh -huh. on, on all of it, and then if you go right here, uh -huh. I yeah, can fit my can finger. See, I can fucking see it. It's weird. Because, like, this is all, it's literally just the, where the tape is, uh -huh. it's this corner. Because this is good, and then it gets here, and it's lifted. I mean, they say it's supposed to have a quarter inch gap ish all the way around. Why? I think it's okay. I think it has a gap all the way around except for right here on the sides. That's good to me. Okay, I'll try and get that black underneath off and then... And then I'm not installing the other one tonight. No? No. I kind of want to make sure this doesn't leak before I... So that I know if I need to do something different. But... I'll do it tomorrow, honestly. I'm just hungry. That's what I was telling Liz. I was like, if I come in and eat right now, I'm not going to come back out in 30, 45 minutes to do this. Like, I'll just do it tomorrow because I'm also getting the other window so then I can open the new glue tomorrow and just do True. both. So, I'll just finish the windows tomorrow. In the morning. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. I'm so happy we at least got it straight. I know. Let's. I mean, next step is leaking. Leaking. Let it fully dry and then wet it. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm opening the new window. I'm scared to even touch it. I have like PTSD from the last one breaking on me. I'm so scared. All right, I'm gonna unbox it and then get my mom to help me and we are gonna install it. <gasps> oh my God, please let this go, okay. <sighs> Y'all, my stomach is turning. I'm so nervous. <sighs> okay, we just gotta do it though. I just gotta do it. Are you guys gonna put yeah, it on for yeah. me? Okay. Yes, yes. Come around the side I'll just make and sure direct it, yes. So I think we just line it up to the top of that. Um, put it the top of that. What is it? I'm not pushing anything at the side. Yeah, yeah, don't push on me. Here, um, let me hold it right here. Okay. Mom, your side come up slightly. Okay, I think that's... Mom, slide over. Uh, no, actually, I think the top is lined up. So start with the top. Just push the top down first. Nope, Mom, you dropped. You dropped. There you go. Straight in. Okay, then bottom can go. Mom, you dropped again. 
or maybe okay. maybe Ernest side come down slightly because I think the black. Yeah, Are I think you? that's good. Mom, I'm gonna switch you. You you just look for me. I go ahead. Watch this. I know, Mom. Go quick because it's you gonna gotta, seal. This is gonna come over. Yeah. Okay. Just tell us what you're doing. Push the bottom over a little to the left. How, how's it looking on your side, Ernest? Lined up with the door. The bottom. Good. The bottom flush. Yes. Mom, does it look straight as well? I see a little bit of white. There? On the top, on De Deanna's top left. There? Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, push. They say literally smack it, but I'm scared. Mom, are you standing right in front of the camera? Yeah. And then there's supposed to be a quarter inch gap, so it should be off. Well, why don't you rip it before you put it on? Hey guys, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um... I just forgot to film an outro for this video. Um, I did install the other bunk window that same day. Um, I just didn't film it because it's the exact same install process of the other bunk window. Um, but the windows look so good and I'm so happy to be beyond this phase of installing windows. It's so scary. Cutting holes is already scary enough, but then you're dealing with glass and like fragile things just is nerve wracking. So I'm so happy to be done with this. I'm not quite done cutting holes yet. We've still got some more holes to cut um, in future van build episodes, but this is going to wrap up van build episode three. Next episode is going to be the subfloor, which I'm super excited about y'all because when I put the subfloor in the bus, it instantly transformed the bus and I could start to see it come to life. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so make sure you guys tune into the next episode um, as I go through uh, the subfloor install and all that comes with that. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.